This is lesson 11, deviation analysis in the Geomagic for SolidWorks plugin. We're going to start this project off by opening up a file that we've already created. It's number 11. The modeling has been complete on this and we have scan data that we'd like to double check our model underneath. We'll go to the deviation analysis button, select the mesh that we're going to analyze to and select the solid or surface body that we're going to analyze our deviation to. We'll change the display resolution to pretty low to start off with and then we'll come back and compare that to a higher resolution analysis later on. The max deviation value here shows the greatest allowable deviation. Uh, anything outside of this number will not be reported and the critical angle basically shows uh, no deviation if a uh, point on the scan data is within or outside of a certain angle from uh, the normal value of the uh, CAD face. When I hit preview, software is going to take a couple seconds to convert the solid body into something that we can analyze to and show a color map. <clears throat> this color map is going to be hues of red and blue with green indicating our specified tolerance zone. We can change our color spectrum around in the tool window here. And I can open up my maximum critical to being, you know, 0.05, 50 thousandths to be a real number. Anything outside of 50 thousandths, any CAD model that deviates from the scan data more than that value will be displayed in a dark red or dark blue color. And you can see my spectrum here has been reassigned to have those values as their maximums. I can do the same thing with my allowable tolerance. Say we want to have a tighter tolerance zone of plus or minus 0 0.005 inches. Type that in and hit OK. And we're going to see a little bit more yellow in the model indicating areas that are deviating from the norm. Let's focus on this area right here and see that it is kind of blocky. If I'd like to look at the deviation in this area in more resolution, I can exit my preview and change the display resolution to something a little bit higher. When I hit preview, notice that the software does take a little bit longer to generate the higher resolution, or resolution image. The individual zones showing deviation are now smaller and I can see a more clear picture of what this area looks like. Now there's no way to accept anything here. There's no results that can be tabulated or exported from this. It's just a preview to make sure that we're on the right track. So when we're happy with the results, we can hit cancel and get back to the modeling 